Hi, in this video we're gonna be talking about prompting with constraints. Prompting with constraints means that we will force GPT to follow some rules. Constraints, rules, adjustments, phrasing is not important. To get a better idea of uh, what we mean, two of the most common examples are changing the tone of voice and changing the length of the, the reply. Let me show you what I mean. I'll start by providing an article as context. The goal would be to summarize this article. Note that summarization is one of the key use cases of ChatGPT. This summary is almost as long as the article itself. Let's add a constraint. Make it less than 100 words. We are constraining the AI to make the text shorter. We are forcing ChatGPT to do so. And voila, ChatGPT provides. Another popular constraint or adjustment is the tone of voice. If this is too serious for your purposes, you can always ask ChatGPT to, to rephrase in a friendly tone of voice. I'll give you some time to pause and read. In less than one minute, you have seen two types of adjustments you use most often, length and tone of voice. Congrats! In reality, you can pose other constraints too. I'll use one of my favorite ones. Start each word with the same letter, O. OpenAI officially opens operations in Optimo, Dublin, Ireland. Obligations include operations, oversight, and so, and so on and so forth. Kind of cool, right? Note that GPT 3.5 fails miserably in this task while GPT-4 is almost perfect. This constraint was first shown by Greg Brockman, co-founder of OpenAI, during the official announcement of GPT-4. Let's now try the letter G. I think Greg did G as well. Great news! OpenAI is going global, gearing up to grow in Dublin, Ireland. This one is much harder, I would say. And you can see that many of the words start with G, but not all of them. In such cases, it would be worth trying to prompt again. Every word should start with G. This is extremely important. Rephrase the text so every word starts with G. No words should start with anything other than the letter G. Goodness gracious, OpenAI is going global, galvanizing growth in Grand Dublin, Ireland. Group's goals, guiding operation, governance, and so on. Not bad, not bad. It did much better, and, and one of the reasons is that our instructions were very, very prominent. Okay, let's move on. Write a limerick. A limerick is a humorous five-line poem with a rhyme scheme. This is a perfect example of a constraint. In Dublin, OpenAI took its stand in Ireland's tech scene so grand. With AI advancements lure, innovation will endure as OpenAI and Ireland's growth go hand in hand. Cool. How about a haiku? A haiku is a Japanese poem of 17 syllables. OpenAI takes flight, in Dublin's tech sphere shines bright. AI's future ignites. Beautiful, beautiful. Now let's do a haiku where every word starts with O. This one is imperfect because it is becoming extremely hard. If the constraint is too difficult, don't blame GPT. At the end of the day, GPT is not only following your rules, but also ensuring it's still making sense. Wanna have some fun? Okay, let's try the same, but with emojis only. Fun, but rather pointless, right? Okay, let's get back on track. 
what other constraints are there? If you have five examples of constraints, can you think of a way to find more constraints? You've seen this already. Prompting by example. Try to do this on your own or check out the reading 6.9 other constraints. Over there, I have defined the following context. One, I'm creating an online course about LLMs. Number two, the whole video script of the lecture as context. And number three, the whole constraints chat that we had up until now. I just copy pasted it. No formatting is needed, no nothing. In this way, I have ensured that I have provided most of the meaningful context there is. The goal? What other constraints are there similar to those in the lecture? There you have it. As usual, we have asked about 20 more and ordered them in a table. Nice. Please do the reading. You don't have to remember all the constraints, but it makes sense to just know about their existence. Okay. See you in the next lecture and thanks for watching.